Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Teague. Today we're gonna see what capstone sequoia looks like at night. All right, so I'm at my parents' house in Michigan. This is their dog, Jet, J-E-T-T, -T, and I'm Jeff. So together, the double J's are gonna be looking at this sequoia capstone. It's premium luxury, supersonic red, especially inside, it's gonna look fantastic. This is really something special. I've driven it several hundred miles this week, all through Michigan, and it's outstanding. Let's light it up. All right, so here we go, lighting it up. You'll see these lights in Toyota Tundra. Got those quad beams there, LED, baby. LED fog lights as well, as we go on around and around and around. So let's go around to the back. We've got LED tail lights, and we've got the light right here for the license plate bracket. Cool, right? All right, so let's get on in here, and we're gonna immediately see it lit up with blue ambient lighting. There we go. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. So we're gonna open up all the doors. And then we'll see right here, we've got ambient lighting here and that beautiful LED strip there in the well. Ho, oh, even in here. So it's kind of pocketed all around here. Even capstone is lit up. We'll see that right there. That's something I didn't expect to see. So here's the panoramic roof that does open up in the front half but not the second half Ooh, here we go right there and here look at this we got a black and white cookie this black and white semi aniline leather seats so soft so plush so comfortable i like it we've got lighting up above my friends and then here we're gonna light up the multi information display the multimedia screen just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like here so now that we go inside we're gonna see led light here now these lights are not lit up but they are to fold the seats just like this so you can give it some more room remember because this is hybrid we do have hybrid battery to contend with so we cannot lower the seats down flush but there's lighting everywhere hey jet what's up playa holla jet holla all right you liking what you're seeing we do have the power hatch light oops sorry about that lighting reflection there it's hard to do an at night video See if we can get on in here. All right, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Crazy fool. All right, so we got good room here. The headroom is decent. And then you can also control the back seats here. You can also pull this seat forward and backwards six inches to free up either more cargo space or more passenger space. Let's start it up. We'll go forward, then we'll go backward. Check out those LED lights, my friends. All right, backup cameras on in here. I'll show you that in a while. And then what we'll do, let's put on our flashers. Let's put on some turn signals and then we'll go forward. Forward, my friends, forward. This is so spooky out here. It's like Blair Witch Project and I'm grainy and fuzzy. Backseat. What do we got in this middle seat here, my friends? Well, we have temperature controls right here and then we've got I like this part here, cooled seats. Then we got heated seats. 
You can control the fan speed here and then tweak the temperature. Yeah, I like that part a lot. That is so cool looking. Inside the passenger door, we've got LED light strip here, lighting, and then these buttons, are they backlit? Yeah, they are. So that's a nice perk here. Uh, the glove box, yeah, the glove box, I can't, blocks, glove box is ambient lit. Neat. Ooh, up here, we've got lighting for the panoramic glass roof. It's not panoramic glass roof, it's the panoramic moon roof. Woo! Then we've got, oh wait, what's this? See, they can be off, they can be on. This is a power seat with lumbar support. Yeah, those are nice, those are nice. Is there any lighting inside here? I probably wouldn't show it to you if there wasn't, so there is. Got USB-Cs there. We also have ambient lighting here. Ooh. And then our different drive modes, four-wheel drive, I'll show you all of that. And then lots of buttons and controls all around here. Most buttons here are backlit. Okay, do this here. That's pretty neat. All right. Oh, get into focus. Come on, my friends. So you can have the power running boards. You can have the door lights. I mean, the back lights there. You can have AC inverter, heated steering wheel, all sorts of stuff. We got brightness of the dash. Boom, all that jazz. So. Are these lit up? Yes, the steering wheel controls are lit. And then here, 12.3 inch multi-information display, the gauge cluster. 14 inch multi-media screen here. So let's do our two wheel drive. We can do four wheel, can do four low, just slides like that. And then our drive mode, tow haul mode. Let's do our drive mode here, we're just gonna move this around and see what we see on this screen here. I have to keep adjusting things because with the light. So we've got eco mode, normal mode, and sport mode. There's a big difference between sport mode and eco mode. I like this one because I like the better gas mileage, but you might like sport mode. So can we go between some of these controls here? Yeah. Customize the right side. What do you think that means? Ooh, pitch and roll. I like that. Hold that one down. Toe gauges. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. I like the boost gauges, so I'll just keep it here. Head up display. Right here. That means it's showing right here on the screen. Just like that. So we can see a lot of useful information about our vehicle. Let's go back over here. Are we learning stuff? Sure hope so. Can set up a trailer. That's right. Vehicle settings. Power back door. That's the one I use. Settings. Speed meter. Do you want that digital? Do you want that analog? What is analog and digital? Oh, actually I kind of dig that one. I'm gonna keep it right there. All right, so this is my gas mileage that I've been getting right now, 18.3. You could probably do better than me. I've been driving it like it's a media car. So I've been driving a little bit faster, stuff like that, because I want to test it out, you know? Okay, we've got our panoramic view. Here's our backup. You can change those type of things. And then we could see in front of, behind, along the sides, whatever you wanna see. 
And then got heated seats, cooled seats right there on both sides. You can change, you can address the rear, you can sync everything up how you want it. Pretty neat stuff. This one right here, oh gosh, all sorts of information you can get on this 14 inch multimedia. We can do the radio like that. Do watercolors. Stop, turn. All right, compare a phone. And then we could do things like set up vehicle customizing. All that jazz here. Sound and media. This is for the surround sound and the driving commands, the voice levels that she helps you at. <laughs> There's a lot. I don't know what the display does. The screen, camera, brightness, contrast. So again, yes, there are things you can do. The lights, the door control, boarding and exiting. Hmm, that's kind of neat. Bam, bam. So I can do my navigation. I can pinch, zoom, rotate, give it voice commands. Hey, Toyota. What do you want to do? What's my driving range? Your cruising range is 314 miles. Nice, thank you. Thanks so much for watching. What do you think of Capstone? Lit up at night, inside, outside, which one's better for you? And remember my two channels, Toyota Jeff Reviews and Auto Jeff Reviews. See you next time.